sir, you, you know what? If you need to see recent paperwork, well, she need to see paperwork too. Cause y'all be bumpy too. Okay. Your stuff be broke too down there. Okay. I suggest that both of y'all, um, go and do a date where you do a STD testing. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Both of y'all. Sir, we don't know that. Your your name is Batwing. If your name is Batwing, um your your paperwork I'm sure is questionable, but whatever. There's a woman out there who will who will work with your broken stuff, okay? All I'm saying is get out your ego. Because the days of men with a mic and a podcast and saying a whole bunch of stupid stuff, them days is over. Like we we that's not cute. It's not. And then you know what? Y'all be stanking down there. I need you to, I need y'all to drink some pineapple and some tomato juice. Start drinking some pineapple and tomato juice. It's, it's frothy. It be frothy down there. I need y'all to work with it. Don't nobody want to go down on you with your stuff smelling like burnt oil. It shouldn't smell like burnt oil. Just in case you didn't know. Okay. Cause I was in a, um, in a singles group and they said, Hey man, list all the complaints that you have for women. And men were like, Oh, when we, we go to bed with each other and she stank. Well, sir, you be wanting somebody to put their head down there and you stank like in the corners and the crevices of between where your leg meet. It stank. I'm just saying wash, wash. Take a shower and wash. And just because you sprinkle some powder over there don't mean it's really clean. We can, we got good noses, okay? We got good noses. We can smell all of the dingleberries that have been left from when you was a teenager. And it's just not cute, sir. She's, she is, you know, being turned off at this point. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying since the men want to stay... Right. And the, and the men want to learn some men. You need to learn some, too. You need to learn some, too. All right. Let me tell you something, man. Um, a man that just tries to come in and hit it. You think you're so big and bad, but really it that doesn't require nothing. You're you're on the same level as the animal kingdom, really. And you know what? Sometimes she's using you. You're the one getting you, sir. And the package ain't delivering the way you want it to deliver. So it, it will behoove you to just find your healing and to mature and to be clear about what you can do for a woman. Because just in case your daddy wasn't around, just in case your daddy didn't teach you this, sir, it is your job to protect. It is your job to provide. It is your job to find that woman, to find that good thing, because when you do, she will enhance your life in all areas. You're going to make more money. Your health is going to be better. You're going to live longer. You're going to have better peace of mind. You're going to have better mental illness, wellness. Your whole life is improved. And not only that, let's not even talk about her bringing your seed to life, not only your physical seed, not only your kids, but she's giving life to your dreams, to your intentions, to your ideas, because that's the power of feminine energy. And you think by sticking it and leaving that you're getting something and you don't even have a clue. You don't even have a clue, boo-boo. Sir, you said her voice needs some lotion too. I'm sure you hear that from a woman all the time. I'm sure that's what you hear on a regular basis. And you're hearing it because you can't turn her on up here because you're just too dingy ding. Try to learn something, sir. Just, just, it won't hurt you a bit. It just won't. Get a clue. All right. Ladies, anything else? Anything else you think I need to tell these mans? Huh? Anything else you think they need to hear? Because, you know, they got an audience now. They got an audience. And since they don't know, I'm here to teach them. I got time today. I, Ma'am, 
I, I, I appreciate it, sweetie, but I, I promise you, I got some really thick skin and they just can't. I, I tried to see if, if I can get my feelings hurt and it just can't happen. They want daily communication. It's non-negotiable. Um, oh, and the double standards, right? Uh, sir. Now here's the thing that really gets me. How y'all with these dry ass podcasts get on there and you're like, oh, well, if a man sleeps with a lot of women, he's just being a man because a, a, a key can unlock many locks. However, the only one lock can take one key. You know that dumb stupidness. Somebody done stayed up all damn year trying to think of what to say. Your double standards are ridiculous. You you want a woman to be great in the bedroom. You want her to do backflips on it. You want her mouth game to be like superhead. However, you want a girl who never has sex. Sir, make it make sense. It makes no sense. You want to cheat on her all, all the time. You want to mistreat her. And then the moment that another man shows her attention, then you want to dr drive her damn crazy, accusing her of cheating on you every five minutes. Sir, if you're a narcissist, and you know you're a narcissist, I mean, you got to know you're a narcissist. Sir, just clock out of dating. Just, just go clock out, okay? Clock out of dating, clock into a mental health facility, and just check out and do everybody a favor, okay? Don't have any offsprings. Don't cause any more damage. Just clock it out. Cause really we don't, we don't, we don't need you. You're not making anybody feel good. You just not. Go have several seats. And for all the men who like to tell women that, oh, if you have kids, you're undesirable, all while you got a trollop of kids behind you. First of all, sir. Do you think we make children by ourselves? I'm just saying, do you really think that women are making children all by themselves? Like they're actually having sex with their damn self? So you mean to tell me it's okay for you to have children, but then you want to undermine a woman who actually was brave enough, strong enough, courageous enough to, to keep moving on and taking care of your offsprings by her damn self? Sir, that's Build-A-Bear energy. That's Build-A-Bear. Just in case you didn't understand, I'm going to be compassionate, okay? Maybe you didn't understand. Maybe you didn't know you were a Build-A-Bear. Maybe you did not know that. Maybe you didn't know that you were sorry and weak and that you, didn't, you, you just didn't have any piece of energy of a manhood in you. But now you know, and knowing is half the battle. So now you can do better. And if your woman is paying the dinner bill, the light bill, the mortgage, all while you sit on your ass and, and play video games, sir, let me tell you something. She's talking about you to her friends. And she's about this close from kicking you to the curb. She is one healing. She is one of my lives away from kicking you. She is one live away from kicking you to the curb, sir. Your days are numbered. So I suggest that you just go out and get it together. Just go out and get it together. Okay, because it's no man. All right, ladies. Are we done with the men's? Anything else we need to say? Okay. You're going to have to end up calling Tyrone, sir. Because... Sarah's not checking for you anymore. That she's not. <laughs>